So here's the thing about catching crab in Oregon. You could either get a nice fancy pot and stuff it with everything that's gone bad in your kitchen and sit there for hours hoping a crab wants to eat it, or you could take things into your own hands, put on a little wetsuit goggles and fins, and just start evicting these crabs like they're six months behind on rent. Now, the second option is definitely not for everyone because not only are Dungeness crab one of the hardest pitching crabs in the world, you also got to watch out for the great daddy white lurking somewhere in these waters, and you got to know when and where you could dive and definitely keep an eye out on the tide charts. If not, you'll very quickly find yourself on a conveyor belt out to Japan. But if you could get past all that, then I gotta say diving for crab is definitely the funnest style of crabbing, and it certainly is the most sustainable. On this dive, we were able to get what we needed, pick only the biggest, strongest males, let go of all females, not disrupt anything else in the ocean, and we were able to come home and feed our families and put some food on the table.